Yeah, they're gonna have to kill him now too. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Greg. I'm Des. And today we are starting a television series, The Gentleman. What do you know about this? A uh, Netflix original. Uh, it is Guy Ritchie. I think so. And I it's think. based on a movie that came out a couple of years Didn't ago. Didn't know that. And it's Henry Cavill. Wait, is it Cavill or Cavill? I actually don't know and I didn't even know he was in this. I know nothing about oh. this either. This is a first time reaction for both of us. The movie had a Hugh Grant in it, like Matthew McConaughey, like a whole bunch of people. Like, I just remember the posters. And you said something last week, I think it was off camera. You don't think you've seen any Guy Ritchie outside of Sherlock? My Guy Ritchie uh, repertoire is very minimal. Okay, so no snatch. No snatch. No <laughs> lock stock and two smoking barrels. No lock stock. Okay. Keep going. We know you've seen both Sherlock's. Uh, no. You only the first one? Maybe, and I don't think, I don't know if I sat through the whole thing. I am expecting, because it's Guy Ritchie, to be action, to be some sort of crime based and probably set in London or somewhere in England. And that's pretty much all I would expect in flashy kind of stuff. I'm ready for Henry and accents. Okay, well, I'm and... excited. Let's get into it. Episode one of The Gentleman on Netflix. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not where I expected this to start. 1400, but um... Oh, oh wow, okay. Wait, Theo James? Did you ever see Divergent? I think I've seen pieces. I've never seen the whole thing. Divergent was the one with uh, Aaron Rodgers' old fiance, right? What's her name? <laughs> I forget her name. I love, I love how we do pop references, <laughs> like pop culture references. Yes, yeah, Shailene Woodley. Good Thank afternoon, you. so... Oh. Seem this isn't good news. <laughs> Yikes. It was a nasty fall. Oh, someone died? Your brother decided, as the eldest son, that it was necessary to, that I could impress upon you the severity of the situation. Is my father going to die, Hammond? His grace's condition is Ooh. serious. He's a lord? Instruction is to take you to the airport. He's the spare. Yeah. They send right. all the spares to work for the UN, apparently. They get to choose. But a lot but of them choose to do that. Yes, Harry it, it, went to service. Well, he went That's to the why getting right? the medals yeah. removed so. was, or the honors yeah, to yeah, Charlie. Was really hurtful for him. Because he did serve. Until I get back. Yeah, in combat. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is what I think of when I think of Guy Ritchie. It's cool titles, interesting editing, and fun, always moving. But I don't know if he directed it. I wonder if he directed the pilot or if he's just EP in it. Find aggression. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna use that. Edwina, Edwardo, you made it. Come to me. Wow. Well done, Edwardo. Boy. Well done. Let's hug it out. Bring it in. Hug it out. No. Right. <laughs> How's mum? Yeah, well, she's the one we need to keep an eye on. Ooh. Pretty sure she's been dipping her beak in dad's meds. She's got eyes like <laughs> hubcaps. <laughs> in and out. When he's there, he's definitely there. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, God. He'll be glad you came, even if he doesn't show it. Okay, I already love the cast. It's me, Edwin. Why you turn your back on us, my boy? Wow. Immediate. They just stated not to be carved up. You don't have to worry about that, all right? Just get some rest. Look after your brother. He won't survive without you. Uh-oh. You understand? I understand it. Silly c***. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing I expected, Guy Ritchie. Lots of that word. It's a favorite. Turn it into a drinking game. Mm -hmm. This does made a real stupid move. <laughs> and uh, you're going to realize it by the end of this episode. <laughs> oh, it happened already? Oh, so... I thought he was going to hang on for a little bit, yeah. Wow. Oh! Aww. He had to show up at some point. Is he in all of the movies? A lot of them. If not all of them, a lot of them. Oh. I don't remember him ever showing up in Sherlock, though. Oh. I just want you to know that it confused two shows. We're not going to see some people that I talked about. <laughs> okay, so no no Henry? Because I was going to say, I don't... <laughs> I was confusing with Argyle. I'm an idiot. The the Argyle and the like the King, Kingsman stuff, yeah. I always do think is Guy Ritchie, because Matt Vaughn is very similar. We have to cut some stuff. Oh, we leave it so people no. laugh at us. The entire estate gets handed down to the firstborn son. Freddy's the heir, and I'm a spare. You called it. So sorry I'm late. Please 
narrow country lanes. Right. Yeah, the narrow country lanes in England are terrifying to drive on. Being of sound mind to make, publish, and declare this to be my last will and testament to Geoffrey Seacombe. I leave a lifetime tenancy on the gatekeeper's cottage. Aww. To my sure. wife, Sabrina, I leave an annual allowance that the new duke shall bestow at his discretion. Wow. Something tells me the new duke is not to my daughter, my brother, no Charlotte. One. I leave the endurance with the condition that she sail around the world on her in the next oh. six months. Wow. Wow. As well, the trust fund of a thousand pounds a week until she marries a man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd get married. No, hell no. The house and grounds, the village of Hetheringham, wow. as well as the property He's in the south the of France, father. I hereby leave to my son. All right. Um, Edward. Wow. Bonnie. So I think, um, I was kind of thinking of everybody. He didn't hear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you could do that. There must be some sort of, it's, he's Edward, I'm Freddy. And it's just, sometimes they call me Fred Wood, and so it gets a little bit uh, uh, mixed up. I think there's some, some, some sort of mistake, yeah. unfortunately. I don't think so. I get it. You're kidding. You're kidding around. This is, was this, wow. this is, did you, did you arrange, <laughs> this is a joke, right? This is, this is a sick joke. I would be doing the same thing. What the f*** is this? <laughs> I'm the firstborn son. Wow. Yeah? That, that means technically the title goes to me. Now that's not just me saying it, it's, it's the, the f***ing law goes back to the Bible, Old Testament, <laughs> Cain and Abel, it's the will of God. The firstborn the son gets everything. It's, 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 it's primogenital is what it is. Primogeniture, Freddy. Yeah. That's what I said, you it's know that's what I said. Yeah. You've heard of that. <laughs> the will is clear. The estate goes to Edward. I don't give a good God <laughs> to what the terms of the will clearly state. Oh. The right... <laughs> The wife. To the firstborn. Do you actually print that out, Fred? Uh, the fact that he had that ready. Yeah. And everything, it all goes to me. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> what, what are you, a cocktail? Don't you shake your head at me? <laughs> He's not being a gentleman. Not at all. Pick it up, we'll pick it up yeah. later on. It's over. She's like, why did I marry you? Yeah. It's very bad. Great, it's coming back. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Take it up with God. <laughs> I want what is rightfully mine by divine mother <laughs> provenance, yeah? So already one of my favorite freakouts in TV history already. That was amazing. Well done. Still going. Yes. The music in the background is getting slow -mo. <laughs> I have been... No, stop. <laughs> In the face, <laughs> dogged on the floor. Wow. It's fake. His, everything like happening over him, talking about it, but it's, oh, put that down. Yeah, no. I like that Vinny left. Vinny's just like, I'm taking the dog and going to my cottage. His grace comes to gloat. Just as surprised as you are. It's not the same sort of surprise though, is it? For the first time in six Hundred years this family has broken with tradition. You That's wild. Six hundred years. Wiped out. I'll deal with this. I'll be up shortly. Why do I see her hitting on <laughs> Theo? Immediately. Right. How do you think it helps me pay my f debts? Debts. Freddy? Mm -hmm. how, how much? What kind of debts? Dad must have known. Debts. Story, Freddy. Do you remember Pete Forbes Spencer? It's in my house at Eaton. <laughs> Big hair. Yeah. Tiny cock, sweaty hands, <laughs> sticky peat. Yeah. Well, I remember peat, but I don't remember his cock. Yeah. I started making a fortune in property. Then what? Pretty. Then the tits went up. Wow. What do you want me to say, Eddie? It wasn't my fault. God <laughs> me. Where did you get four million pounds from? Uh-oh. Well, that came from Tommy Dixon. Right. <laughs> and who's Tommy Dixon? Yeah. <laughs> The chap I met in rehab. Oh. Liverpudley and chop dealer. Love Said him. he wanted to front me the money. For clarity, you owe four million pounds. Well. No. Twelve? Uh, oh, wow. I owe a Scouse crime family eight million pounds. <laughs> wow. Four to eight. Throw me an anchor. I don't know, Eddie. Criminal compound interest. They're gangsters. They can make it up as they go along. 
25 percent they're both every great. week i'm so excited if i don't come up with the money by the end of the week they're gonna chop <laughs> dick off which is fatal by the way which i looked fatal? it up i can't <laughs> give you eight like you went up the pounds the rules you stole my title and now you stole the only way i had of getting out of this hole that god f dug for me yeah 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 god not it. you yeah. not you you owe me your life oh i can't wait to hear this old, I pulled you out of the duck pond, remember? No, I don't remember that, but I do remember you telling me about it incessantly. <laughs> Point is, you watch It's a Wonderful Life? I'm the one lying face down <laughs> in the water, and you have got to pull me out. Freddy, the title has no practical value. The business is broken, and you are a coke-sniffing Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. However, <laughs> I'll look into it for you. Okay, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> what have you been up to? How may I help you, Your Grace? I need to get my hands on a large amount of cash. How did he get hotter with glasses on? <laughs> You're asset rich, cash poor. Mm. Tell me, what about bonds, stocks and shares? There aren't any. What? But there might have been matters we didn't address. But of course, I couldn't comment. Yeah, that's, that's rather cryptic, I mean. What are you into, Dad? Mm -hmm. A lawyer based in London. His client has expressed an interest in purchasing Halstead Manor. When someone dies, the vultures start circling. Mm. What's his name? The potential purchaser wishes to remain anonymous at this stage. Oh, I'm sure. That he'd be willing to pay well above the market value. I'd be willing to potentially entertain an offer. That Halstead Manor's been in your family for generations since 1550. Wow. I need money by the end of the week. Set up a meeting, please. That's crazy. Sorry to disturb you. Allow me to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. I'm Susie Glass. I used to be in business with your father. I can't wait to see what kind of business it right. is. I'm what assuming kind of it's, it's going to be criminal, It'll but... it be easier if I just show you. I'm kind of hoping it's something, like, ridiculous, but it won't be because it's Guy Ritchie. Did he mention the revenue he was making from the farm? No, oh. he didn't. It's Could a weed farm? That's the only kind of thing you can grow in he a place like that. He was making five million pounds in cash a year, plus profit share. Excuse me? Five million pounds. Where is it? Well, I'm guessing that wasn't from yogurts and burgers, Miss Class. Yeah. Mm. Follow me. I feel like they're going to go downstairs. Yeah, into a grow house, right. I'm sure. That's what you think it is? Yeah. Oh. She said farm. That lighting. Yeah. Not that I have any experience with this. <laughs> what the f <laughs> is going on? Maybe I'm wrong. Cannabis market in the UK is worth over six billion a year. Is it legal in the UK? In return for a generous consideration, he let us carry out our activities with the necessary impunity. Wow. Turns out there ain't that many 15,000 acre estates. We can do pretty much whatever you want without anyone knowing. Yep. What's this one called, Jimmy? Especially when you're a duke. This is Jimmy. He's been product supervisor here for... Three years now, boss. That's how long I've been living under your gaff. <laughs> Can't believe we finally get to meet. Me and you, we's like, fam. Wow. Except you like a dink in it. That's, That's amazing. That's you, Jimmy. Mm. This place must be turning over 50 million a year. You're in the right ballpark. You must have dozens of places like this all over the country. You know your father never concerned himself with the workings mm -hmm. of the wider operation. <laughs> But I'm not my father. And so as the new landlord, you will receive a significant amount of money. Mm, price just went up. Yeah. What if I wanted to renegotiate? And that would be challenging for us. Well, legally, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, you're right. There's nothing legal we could do. Mm -hmm. Is that a threat? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Normally, in these kind of situations, certain discussions have been made beforehand. And normally, the weak-willed, work-shy, public school-educated heir rolls over like a good little boy. Yep. Mm. I wouldn't put it quite like that, but yeah. It must still be illegal in England. I did not know that. Commenters, anyone right. from England, let me no, know down below. No, he's hiding oh, money. Well, that could be for taxes. Can say your so he knew. Actually, Jeff, uh, yeah. wouldn't mind a chat if you have the time. For sure. Well, I normally have a cup of tea around this time of day. <laughs> Do you think I ain't gone in 60 seconds? I think he is in that, yeah. It's been so long since I've seen it, but it would. I think he is in it. I forget I if also he was know a football that player, but I feel like he without was. You knowing about it. So I assume you have some understanding of what's going on. Mm. It would also be fair to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he still has a, one of the coolest voices. 
What's the extent of your involvement? Security. I make it my business not to leave my business. Smart, smart man. The trouble is I've run into a spot of bother. I need their help. What help they'll give you, but it'll come at a price. Mm. Yeah, eight million comes at a big price. At the end of the day, they're businessmen. As long as you're gonna make them money, they'll sit down and have a conversation with you. Great shot. I decided to take the house off the market. But now I want to know who this other person is because I'm thinking they know what's going on there and that's why they wanted that property. Oh, 100%. Would you like some tea? No, I don't have time. I've got a train to catch. You can't leave. You're going to have, have no, to run the business. she's got to go on the boat. I know, but she's going to end up helping the business. Mummy's persuaded me to go back to uni to finish the year. And Freddie's the one she should be worrying about. I'll look after Freddie. <laughs> that's what your dad asked. Good luck, Chuckles. Chuckles. No grace. Future episodes, we'll have to have tea. Tea with milk. Okay. It's a British show, we have to do it with milk. Wait, is it Glass Knuckles? Is it the name yeah. of the place? I need to raise eight million pounds very quickly. Oh, eight million, that's a big number. My brother's in debt to a Liverpudlian drug cartel. How much are the eight's interest? Half. Obviously, my options are severely limited in terms of raising the required funds. Shocked you're doing this over the phone. You literally were in the military, you know how they use those phones. I'll get back to you. But how are we going to get this exposition? I know Tommy Dixon and his brother, the gospel. But I reckon you can squeeze him once they know what that is. Mm. Ooh, who's their dad? The My lawyer. Name is Stevens. I'm the personal assistant to a private individual who's interested in purchasing Halstead Manor. OK. My client would like to see if you'd be open to a face-to-face -face meeting. Thank you, but my situation has changed. He'd like to make you an offer. 250,000 great British pounds. Just to me? Would you care to follow me, Your Grace? Yeah. I have a feeling Mom's involved too somehow, but I want to know how. Handsome looking turbo. Two and a half kilos. I just find him hilarious. My name's Susie Glass. Daughter of Bobby Glass. I respect Bobby. Everyone respects Bobby. Hmm. Can we have a little convo? About Freddie Horneman. 25% a week, so until the debt's paid. Dang. 25 a week on four mil? Your dad's caught a nasty cold. How long has he got left? He's four into a 10 stretch. Okay, so we're not going to see him for a little while. What's the connection with you and that posh twat? Hmm. I have a business interest that could be put in jeopardy by this little debt of his. And I wanted to see if there was a way we might be able to resolve it. Eight million is a lot of money. But 100% of f all's f all. Yeah. We both know you're not going to get the full eight, so let's be realistic. What happens if I can get you the original four? Can't just raise off four million and incest. <laughs> that <laughs> accent. We treat it as an investment into your operation. Nope. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. I'm not looking for investors. Yeah, that's too big. When will they get the four million? You can pick it up on Friday, sweetened with a bar's worth of white widow super cheese. Wow, I've never heard of that stream. I just love how they have to write it All right. Yeah. On one condition. Mm -hmm. He's got to apologize. Oh. And he's got to admit that he's a wow. No, he's not going to. And I want it recorded for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video I would like him to emulate. No. I can't wait. I'll get you the four and the super cheese and the video. <laughs> With an apology. <laughs> Are we good? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that's great. You get me all yeah. that? We're golden. I'm going to assume Guy directed the pilot, based on how this has gone so far. Oh, yeah, we didn't really get... You didn't see any credits. <clears throat> credits ahead of time. Pleasure, Your Grace. Stanley Johnston, with a T. You'd probably like to know why I am so interested. The truth is, it's a paragon of an example of the architectural philosophy of William Kent, mm. who was a jack of all trades. Bullshit. <clears throat> Excuse me. People either survive in the jungle or exist in the zoo. Few recognize the significance of the paradoxical reconciliation of the two. It takes a rare individual who understands how cunning and aggressive one has to be to acquire an estate such as yours. Your house is a testament to the synthesis Layers. of this culture. Mm -hmm. Refinement mm -hmm. with aggression. Wow. Refined aggression. 
Which is why I intend to offer you an obscene amount of money for your country estate. Do you drink wine? Is that to filter out the cork? I'm... What is happening? Well, that's quite a number. I've changed my mind, however, the land's not for sale. I hope you don't disapprove in the way I prefer my wine presented. Yeah. I like to decant and clean the liquid, then return the wine so it can be enjoyed in its original housing. Wow. That's intense. I'm prepared to go farther north of that number. I appreciate the paradoxical blessing and curse of your perceived privilege. Perceived privilege? The Romani Conti, 2002. Are you a fan of DRC? <laughs> mm. We saw Have some you in the basement. Tried an 82. I understand there are only six cases left in the world. That's what the wife was Eight, going through. Actually, two belong to the Crown Estate. One oh. belongs to the Archduke of Moldova, and the rest, well, they're in our cellar, along with two cases of the 45. Ah, the temptation is too much. If you won't allow me to buy the house, please. Wow. Allow me to buy the wine. I promise I'll be very generous. Yeah, eight million? It'd be very hard for me to let that go. Yeah. <laughs> you agree? Why do I feel like the brother and the wife already swapped it out? That, plus the money in the safe. I mean, he's a good brother. I should my brother's debt. Too easy. Is there gonna be a love interest there? <gasps> yeah. Everything all right? No, no, really. Yeah. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Did Wait, the brother have just to hear keep? Me out, okay. Oh. This guy's a two-time world heavyweight champion. He bet it all. You put on Freddy. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Look, he wants to make amends, Eddie. Now, listen to me. There's no yeah. way this guy's not going to win. Get my fucking money back. I got to go. Okay, they're putting phones Freddy, in Kevlar bags here. They're locking them up. That's how exclusive this place is. Freddy, go listen go to go me. Go That's like a fight to the death if they're doing that. Can you let them cut off his dick? We're going to need to find this fight. All right, Suze. Jackie boy. Your Highness. <laughs> yeah. For a second, I thought he was going to be the one fighting. Miss Suze, no grief. It's my name on the line tonight. All right. I want her to cause some grief now, because yeah. something tells me that would be fun. Then you got the Albanians, the Chinese, the Russians, sitting happily next to the Ukrainians. <laughs> of course. Nothing brings people together like a spot of blood on the canvas. Are they like bare knuckles? Probably 50 to 100 million British pounds rattling around in here tonight. Yeah. And a few of those are mine. Hmm. Where the f did you get in here? That's money. not your What way. money? Yeah. Freddy's money, which is my money. No, there's nothing I can do about that now, mate. Fight started. Will you relax, please? There's no way Bang Bang's gonna lose this fight. He's, he's, he's pulverizing him. That money is expected by someone who will not suffer disappointment. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds like a threat. Yeah. If Joey wins, your brother's about to double his money, but if he loses, that money doesn't belong to him anymore. I'm not done with you. Okay, whatever. Why don't you fuck off? Wow, Pete. I can't wait to see him get punched. Yeah. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Sit down, have a drink, we'll figure something out. I like her. The whole cast is great so far, and I'm, I'm just waiting to see who's gonna play both dads. I think I have a feeling who I would assume it would be, but... What is it? He's gonna throw the play? Yeah, of course. It's a scam. Yeah. He preys on the posh, and then he protects himself with plastic gangsters that the he's heartbeat. immersed himself with. And your lot are too intimidated to complain. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You've awakened the beast. So it's just for show. Yeah. He never placed the bet at all, so he just took the money. <laughs> what a dick. There so if go. he never placed the money and he wins, then what happens? I think he, he must know that he's going to throw it, but... The fundamental rules of gambling are very simple. Uh, when you lose, you pay out. Here it comes. Yeah, you're embarrassing yourself, Captain. You're not in the army anymore. Look at his brother's face. So everybody that bit on him was a setup. We need to leave now. Do you mind if I talk to him? Yeah. <laughs> Does the name Stanley Johnston ring a bell? He is very interested in buying the estate. He might know something about the operation. What did you say his name was? Stanley Johnston. <laughs> yeah, that's not his name. With yeah. a T. With a T. What is it? 
The lyrics. The song Freddie's got to sing when he earns the money over. <laughs> He's got to dance. <laughs> like a chicken. Like a chicken. Hi, Tom. I'm a posh twat who fucked up. E I E I O. I fucked up because I'm a knob. E I E I O. With a twat twat here and a twat twat there. How old is Tommy Dixon? Do you want us to count it? Guy said it's all there, but I haven't checked. No, I'm good. I think he wants to say sorry. No. Oh. Do you want an apology? Wow, how fucked up is he? I want it. Yeah. Make him sing the chicken dance. Oh, you're being is dragged. It little, is it little Petey guy? <laughs> yeah. I Sticky think, Petey? I think, Sticky Petey? Uh, that's who she went to visit. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to say sorry. <laughs> For the bottom of my heart. Wow. That's nice. In the man. middle of the street. Yeah. Are we cool, Edward? Yeah. He just realizes the line he has crossed and is not returning from. <laughs> you said you were going to talk to him. Wait, come on. Oh, we did. You knew what she was going to do. Don't worry about him. We did him a favor. We disciplined the dog, not the man. And we are in the dog training business. You're in a lot of businesses. I like it. Paul! Oh, God. There's a problem with the weight. When are we going to train that dog? Yeah. Paul. Ah! Lost it! <laughs> Natural born killer, your grace. Mm. Well done, Fredward. Fredward. Oh, Wormtail. Well, you know. How'd you get on with Pete? Color Wormtail. I got the money back. But Mr. Dixon has agreed to take the four, which means we're good for tomorrow. Well, f a duck. Well played. How'd you <laughs> manage that? Four million off the eight. I mean, suck his cock for four big ones. Mm. Wow. Well, that's good to know, Freddie. Yeah. Because you're about to perform this There is, however, dance. one minor caveat. He wants you to say you're a fuck. He wants me to. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. I'm a fuck. Everyone thinks like I'm that. a fuck anyway, right? He does, Pete does. Dad definitely fucking did it. He wouldn't have cut me out of his will and left me with nothing. Well, you have been a bit of a fuck. Doesn't mean you always are. Well, that's just. That How about nice. you, Jeff? Do you think I'm a fuck? <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Four men of f***s, Freddy. Wow. Oh, fine. Anything else? Yes. He wants you to do a dance and sing the apology. It's right here. Well, he's dressed like a chicken. Yes, there is that too. <laughs> wow. She loves the it. Wife's she she loves like... it, yeah. Fine. Good, I'm okay. Chicken. What else? He wants to film the performance. <laughs> <laughs> it's four million. You said you would literally yeah. do something else yes that youtube won't let me say just... i'm not doing it oh I'm my fucking doing it hold on two minutes yeah. ago you're willing to suck his cock <laughs> yeah in private eddie he's <laughs> going to film it freddie he's not filming it eddie you asked for my help and i'm helping you yeah not you have to do everything that i tell you from now on oh he's not gonna like that yeah she does <laughs> if that means dancing like a chicken you dance like a chicken is that clear Wow. They did a great job with his eyes. Yes. Your grace. Uh, what's the brother gonna do to F this up now? Leave. I don't know what else we can do. Wait, are they letting them come to the house? I hope not. But, oh, no, they are. I wouldn't have had him come there. Mm -mm. Don't forget the suits. <laughs> Why are they always in like a tracksuit? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think it's to like denote the difference in classes and yeah. the gangs and stuff, but yeah. I don't know. It's great. That familiar. As promised, would you like to count it? No, I'll let Jethro do that. Hey, Jesse, you're up, mate. Hey, you soft lad. Tell me about the whole chicken thing. You don't have to film it, do you? Yeah. That's why I agreed to take the four instead of the eight. Thinking about this all wrong, your participation in this movie is going to earn you four million. Yeah. Quid. That's a million quid a minute. Maze, that shit could follow me around forever. Get your hand off me. Yeah. I'm not your mate. Mm -hmm. I direct and you perform. Mm. I can't wait to see the suit. <laughs> suit. It's like an owl, not a chicken. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> 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 the wolf in the hen house. 
Oh, no, he's she gonna, no. Chicken man, chicken the chicken man. For a second, oh, I thought- Oh, he is counting it off. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it without a counter. I was like, that's intense. You're gonna dance, and then I will judge whether I deem your performance film worthy. Okay. You've got to actually be a chicken. <laughs> you understand? Let's see a chicken. I have no idea if he right. is, but I would love it if he's like doing an impersonation of how Guy Ritchie directs. <laughs> no. What the f***? <laughs> what kind of shit chicken is that? Come on, let's go, let's f***ing chicken! What like a f***ing chicken? They're gonna kill this dude, aren't they? Be a chicken! I'm a f***ing chicken! I want you to be a chicken. <laughs> I want you to feel it. I want yeah. you to transform into a chicken. He's gonna go nuts and kill the dude. Oh, you think he's gonna kill the tracksuit yeah, guy? Yeah, and make it a big deal. And he's not even gonna notice because he's got the headphones on. He's just gonna be like... Duh, 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 duh. I think that's why they got him on that couch and everything. What's he gonna do with the gun that he was practicing with? Maybe. Look, there's all grain there. Look, come on. There's all grain there. <laughs> I hope they don't kill him because I really like the actor. I want him to stay around, but that's what it feels like is about to happen. I'm packing the fucking grain. <laughs> Susie needs to go. Stop coming. Stay out of it. Too many this fucking <laughs> way. My throat hurts just watching you yeah. do this. Is he going to do it? No, no, don't do it. That's enough. Hey, f off. He's got to attain the frequency first. <laughs> I need, need him to become a chicken. I need to go to the toilet. Yeah. Gonna godfather him. I was like, how sharp is that beef? <laughs> <laughs> what can you get in the bathroom that you could kill someone with? Toothbrush? Oh. Scissors? A razor? Yeah. Oh. Or he's just gonna walk no, in and do it. No, I think you're right. Oh no. Hey, Tony. Who's the chicken now? I'm you called it. Fuck off! You called it. Well, you called him dying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted him to stay around. <sighs> I told you he was gonna notice because he's got the headphones on and he's just still counting all the money. He's gonna turn around and be like, it's good. Yeah, they're gonna have to kill him now, too. Oh, oh my god. I don't think that was planned! <laughs> no! <laughs> I just saw a guy in the head. Wow. Okay, he did direct it. And we're back. That okay. was the pilot of The Gentleman. Yes. And apparently, we were way <laughs> off. And so much so, of what we thought this was about. <laughs> so I completely confused the gentleman and Argyle. So this entire time I'm thinking I'm about to watch Argyle with Henry. And so I am completely holding my tongue and laughing at myself throughout the entire thing while trying to pay attention while also completely laughing at myself for confusing them. It happens. Yeah. It ha I get it though. I said it, you know, during the reaction, the... Kingsman stuff and Argyle and that always yeah. I always think that's Guy Ritchie even though it's Matt Vaughn but like yeah. I so, get it I anyway get it. I was looking at it going like huh and I'm thinking that Theo is the spare to Henry and then I'm like no I think Theo's number one on the call sheet so <laughs> oops but other than that it was great I had a lot yeah. of fun I thought it was hilarious I mean that's what I expected from Guy Ritchie it was about crime, which I expected. Mm -hmm. It was violent that I expected. Not as violent as I expected, but great setup for the season in terms of now they're really screwed that they killed the one actor I really like. I, I can't Flash remember Rose. his name. And I am dying to see who's going to play the parents of both the Weed family and the yes. other family. Yeah. Because Ray Winstone has got to show up at some point, and I feel like he's got to be one of the dads. But that's me. One thing that I... And I'm not sure if this is a Guy Ritchie thing, and maybe you can tell me because I haven't seen a ton of his stuff. But once we saw uh, Sticky Pete all bloody, I was like, oh, crap. Is he like an overly bloody kind of guy? Like, not I mean, obviously overly. he wasn't Sherlock. 
not overly, but he definitely is not afraid to do violence. But it's not too gory. It's I'm usually like, no. like it is when they killed the guy. So it's not like a Kill Bill level with no. and the way Quentin Tarantino can be. No, it's, it's maybe a step below. Okay, I just wanted to. Per I wanted to yeah. prepare my stomach for the next few. It's very. It's always very stylized and okay. very like. Almost, at least my, uh, maybe I'm just weird. I always find it funny when they do it. So it's not, it's like, okay. I don't like super gory stuff. And like, it's never, none of his movies have made me go like, yeah, but. Okay. Yeah. But we are dying to get into the second one. We're going to jump right into it. We just wanted to clarify yeah, how we wrong just, we were. Because we were laughing the whole time. I just hope we were, like, <laughs> if we could have been texting each other during that entire time, we would have. I was laughing at myself the entire time. I can't wait because I know all the people that are going to watch the intro and make all the comments below. Don't worry, I am equally laughing at myself as much as y'all are. And I just also want to say that you called him dying on the couch, I called the weapon. Yes, you did. You got it. I really thought you were going to I felt it was very part. much, it was Colonel Mustard in the library with the <laughs> yeah. candlestick kind of moment. And see, we would if we were, if Clue was a team That's game, true. We would, we would win. win. Totally. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to get into episode yep. two. <laughs>